Okay, so to start, I'm going to create a plane. So I'm going to go here in Rhino and type in plane. Bring in a plane like this. And now what we're going to do is this is the plane that we're going to use for doing the Voronoi pattern. So I'm going to double click here inside of Grasshopper, bring in a surface component, right click, set one surface. And as long as you have that one selected, you can set this as a surface and then hide the the surface here in Rhino and still keep it in Grasshopper. Now, what I wanted to show you is that once we take, um, we go here to Vector and we go to Populate 2D, we're able to populate this surface with 100 points as the default. Uh, the seed is random, um, is going to be more solutions to the problem. But what we want to do is create a Voronoi pattern. And one of the issues that I had in the past was I would go to mesh, go to triangulation, and then go to Voronoi 3D. And I used to think that this was a good way to get a quick Voronoi pattern. And it kind of is. I mean, it gives you the, the pattern right away. But one thing that we, we haven't, that I didn't know was that at every point, it's actually creating a plane at the top, at the bottom, at the right, and it's creating kind of these these lines also because it's a 3D Voronoi. So that's why when we see the cells here, we have 100 closed cells, but if we explode, if we go um, deconstruct BREP, and we plug in those cells, we see that we have 759 faces. So we have just way too many uh, faces, way more than what we should have uh, if it was just a one surface. So for me to be able to fix that, what I had to do was I just went back, deleted these, and I'm going to bring this back. So I'm going to uh, spacebar and bring back the preview. The one to use I, in this kind of situation would be to go to uh, Voronoi. So it would be this one, planar. Voronoi diagram for collection of points. So if we take these points and we plug them in there, we'll see that it actually creates it, creates the, the curves all around. But here, it's not creating that last one. It's actually the bounding box is way out here. So my solution was to take basically these cells or these curves and split this surface here. That way, we have the pattern on the actual surface. So I'm going to go to uh, intersect, physical, uh, surface split, and I'm going to bring in the cells into the curves, this original surface into the surface. And we do have a lot of lines here, so it will take a little bit of time. But if we go here, count to 30, we can decrease the number of subdivisions to make it a little bit easier. And now we can take all of this to a space bar and hide the preview. And now we have all of these subdivided uh, surfaces right here with the Voronoi pattern. And we have the ability to also change the solution by just uh, sliding the seed count and increase or decrease the density of the pattern. So we're going to go here to 30. And so now we have basically the Voronoi pattern as a two dimensional surface. And let's say we wanted to create some frames around. That's another issue I had. So if we deconstruct the B rep and we plug that in here, we know that we have 30 different faces because that's how many points we have. So let's Take this one, spacebar, hide preview. And for those faces, let's offset the outside edge. So I'm going to take those, offset, and it's offsetting out. So I'll say two. Let's see what it does. So now it gives us the ability to offset more or less. But we see this is the issue that I've always had with, um, with Voronoi is now we have some that offset out and some that offset in. We have these that offset out and these that offset in. And even if I come here and I go to negative, and 
Now, the ones that we're offsetting in are offsetting out, or the ones that are offsetting out are offsetting in. So, the only solution that I found to this was to double click here and go to area, and it's basically scaling it. So, we're gonna go bring in the area component, we're gonna bring in the centroid, and so we're gonna pick the exact uh, centroid of each one of these cells and use that as our scale point so the center of each each one of these cells is going to be scaled to the center of that point so we're going to go to the center there and then for geometry we're going to plug in those faces so there now we scaled all of those faces down to that center point and of course we can go from 0 dot 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 2.000 and create a custom slider that has gives us the ability to scale up or down the pattern now the issue you'll run across with this is that you will have uh, a different gap spacing in between uh, these but it actually creates a pretty interesting and, and fun pattern in my opinion so what we, we can do now is take those surfaces, extrude them up, take these and extrude them up, and then do a subtraction. So let's extrude these faces in the Z direction, and let's extrude them 15. And we can take those original faces and hide them. And we can do the exact same thing to those cells. So I'm gonna slide, hold Alt, make a quick copy, and we're gonna basically extrude now these instead. So we have the outer cells, inner cells, and then we have these bottom planes that we can hide now. We could also hide the center points here. And so here we have both of those solids. Now it's just a matter of double clicking, going to uh, solid difference. We're going to pick the outside cells, inner cells, and hide the preview. And now there we have that Voronoi pattern that we could always come here, decrease the pattern, and it, we don't have the issues of it offsetting out and offsetting in and giving us issues in that, in that way. So uh, this was the solution. And of course, there's other things we could do. We can do a uh, curve attractor or a point attractor uh, to mess around with the scale. But for now, this is a, a fairly straightforward uh, way for you to get Voronoi working without having so many issues with overlapping um, geometries and and just redundant work so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new uh, if you have any questions or if you yeah if you want to if you have ideas for future videos let me know and yeah if you enjoyed this content I am going to be doing this a lot more so make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you next time thank you for watching Oh, and don't forget to check the description. I will be adding a link for the script.